Previously on The Governor. I'm trying to protect your interests. By asking me to sign away one third of the government loan to the House of Assembly members. Her exact words were, hell will freeze over before the party chiefs can touch one naira from the law. She can be impeached. We need justifiable and legitimate reasons to get rid of her. The case against your daughter is watertight. And she might even go to jail. I will fight them in court. I will fight them in the media and I will fight them in the public eye. Whether you like it or not, we will impeach your daughter, period. We've got her exactly where we want her. I will squeeze until she begs for mercy. Is it true? Eat your food. Don't let it grow cold. It's this type of behavior that gives politicians a bad name. Then it's good you're a businessman, not a politician. Fine. This is obviously just a game to you, so I... Sit down. Where do you think you're going? I'm the deputy governor of this state. And I have the power to keep you there. You think you can do this by yourself? I'm not doing anything for you, Dad. Eat your food, it's getting cold. Your mother is worried about you. Have you given her cause to? I didn't come here to exchange words, Ahmed. Then why exactly are we here? And how long is the knife you want me to stick into the governor's back? Look, this is fate accompli. They have the chance to get rid of her. And they're going to take it. There's nothing I can do even if I want to. Looks like Friday Bellows finally gets in what he wanted. But what do you mean? Well. If Governor Ocello goes, I'm going to resign. Are you out of your mind? You're right. Tastes good. Better when hot. something wrong with the food? No, 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 Patrick. Uh, the food is fine. Just can't say the same for our appetites right at the moment. I beg you all, uh, please eat. God will take care of the rest. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you. We will try. Thank you. Mom. Hmm? They're not really going to send you to prison, are they? Don't you? What? We're all thinking it. No. No, darling, they're not. And he's right. It's a huge elephant in the room. What are you going to do? I'm meeting with Henry and a few of the faithful to discuss our options this morning. Mom. Mm. I don't mind you not being governor anymore, Mom. Thank you, darling. But I don't want you to go to prison. What? I don't, okay? Hey, told you, it's not going to happen. What's the point of anything if the bad guys always seem to win, Mom? No, if we stop doing the right thing, they will win. But they're winning anyway. You know, Margaret Thatcher once said that she went into politics because of the conflict between good and evil. She was confident that in the end, good will triumph. Some accuse her of damaging the moral fabric of the United Kingdom. True, but no one can deny that she fought for what she thought was right. 
And that's all we can do, really. And not quit. Good morning, Your Excellency. Good morning, Good morning. Henry. Good morning. Would you like some breakfast? I uh, know, thank you. Just wondering if you need me to do anything before we head on to the office. Thank you, Henry, but that's not necessary. Are you sure I can't get you some coffee or tea? No, I, honestly, I am fine. Thank you. Okay. Please, take a seat. We'll join you. Very good. Today is going to be a very good day. Morning, Dad. Morning. You are still thinking about the Ocello girl. By the time I'm done, you will need a security detail to protect you from all the beautiful girls in the state of Savannah. Oh, I'm off. Neither of you will spoil my mood today. Friday, please wait. We need to talk. Can it not wait? No, it can't wait. So, what's the plan? It's a numbers game now, ma'am. Um, Henry. Yes, sir. An impeachment can only come into force if at least two-thirds of the members vote for it. Exactly, sir. There are 30 legislators, so they need 20 votes. And we need to secure at least 11 of those votes. Are you saying that we can't get at least 11 legislators who like the changes we're proposing? It's not that simple, ma'am. Individually, they may like exactly what you're doing, but because they're voting in a faction, they will need to bow to the desire of their caucus. But shouldn't that make it easier for us? So uh, we can just focus on securing a, a caucus? It's not easy to secure a caucus, sir. Besides, it's a very time-consuming and expensive business. Have you any good news for me at all? Well, the deputy governor is back. I hear he's having breakfast with his father. He has nothing to lose and everything to gain. You think uh, Ahmed will play for the other side? It's too, it's too early to say, sir. I don't know. He's going to have his father on his back, so we'll have to wait and see. Yes, I am setting up a situation room in the office. Good. Arrange an exco meeting for 10 a.m. I want to make it clear that it's business as usual until the conclusion of the impeachment process, whichever way it goes. It's all over the news. They're talking about impeaching the governor. Eh? Yeah. Don't play games with me. Who is playing games? This is serious business. You told me you wanted to lean on her. You wanted her to do things your way, not get rid of her. We had an opportunity and we took it. Maybe the 18th century philosopher, Joseph the Maastricht, was not wrong after all. Saying that the people get the leaders that they deserve. I don't think that's fair. Well, it's not that I'm agreeing as well. People don't have enough information or power to hold their leaders to account. And that is why education is important. Which is also why you should continue fighting. No matter what it takes. I'll be right back. Ah, oh, ma'am. The press is camped outside the house and at the office. Then I'll make sure I'm looking my best. So, you're still going to go ahead with this impeachment thing? All the way, my dear. Oh, my dear, I don't know you anymore. What will it profit a man to gain this whole world and lose his own soul? I have had enough of this nonsense. You best know on which side your bread is buttered. I am afraid for you now. Don't fight it. Brother. Why do you want to humiliate this woman like this? Why? Because it's all mine. The government house she lives in, mine. The executive car that drives her around, mine. The office that she occupies, mine. The powers invested in that office, mine. Even the title, Your Excellency, mine. Can you get that into your thick skull? Friday. All mine. Friday. It's all mine. Friday. Look, 
There is far more at stake here than you realize. I've got to go, Dad. I have an ex meeting in less than an hour. Are you listening to me? What's left to say? This is out of my hands now. I've got billions invested in a Chinese deal. That your governor had been sitting on it ever since she entered office. Dad. Look, I made billions. I made billions. The Chinese have been patient. They can't be forever. Now, from what I hear, Friday Bello is just as kin to sign off on that project. And he will, when he becomes governor. They will cut me out. I swear to you, they will cut me out. Look, Ahmed. We've had our differences. Don't do this. You must let this game play itself out. Don't do anything stupid. I've got to go, Dad. Okay. Um, Henry. Yes, sir. What can I do to help? Anything. I'll do it. Can you keep things smooth and happy on the home front? I don't mean any disrespect, Professor. I'm a professor of political science, Henry. Then those we can source. But what we cannot source is a husband and a family she can turn to for comfort, support, and love. The truth is, she's going to be battered black and blue in the next few days. Oh, I see. Her frame of mind is crucial at this point. That is why she needs you and her family now more than ever. I understand. Thank you, Professor. Um, Henry. Yes, sir. She's going to be okay? I mean, all this impeachment debacle will go away? I won't lie to you, sir. Our chances of beating it are very slim. <sighs> She's a strong girl. You know that? Oh, I know. <laughs> That's why I said our chances are slim, not impossible. Let's go. Just want to ask the governor a few questions. The governor will not be answering any questions right now, so move on. Hassan, it's okay. I'll talk to her. Your Excellency. I'll talk to her. I saw your exclusive report on TV, Elizabeth. Thank you, ma'am. Why is the House of Assembly so determined to impeach you? Your guess, Elizabeth, is as good as mine. We've queried why contracts are awarded, paid for, and not delivered. We've said that civil servants, including those who teach our children, should be paid their due. We've said that our roads should not be death traps. We've said that monies allocated for state expenses should not end up in certain people's pockets. But if my actions have provoked a reaction in certain rogue elements of government, then that's for you and the citizens of Savannah to determine. Is it true that you lied on your asset declaration form? That will be enough. Did you get that? Miss Maga? Yes. The governor wants to see you. Alone. Stand back. You off? <sighs> nah. I think I'm going to stay home for the next few days. This might not be home in the next few days. It's so. going to be fine, Toju. You. you say so? You don't like it, do you? 
Are you seriously giving her access to private and official meetings? Well, they'll be vetted, of course. She's a journalist. It's like telling a fish not to swim. Well, we'll give her enough to tell a good story. She's a loose cannon. Like, would it be the story I want to tell or a party political broadcast? <laughs> you, you look like you're going to have a heart attack when she said that. It just seems like a distraction to me, ma'am. Look, Henry, you yourself said it doesn't look good, right? Yes. And you saw how she almost ambushed me outside of my own office. Don't worry, we'll increase security. And announce to the world we've got something to hide. No. I've been so naive, Henry. This whole time, these guys have been two or three steps ahead of me, and it stops now. I want to use Elizabeth Maga to get the story of this administration out there. And that interview was my warning shot. Still no word from Dupin? No. And you haven't spoken to Kinley. Let's just drop the subject, all right? Sorry. No. Well, you know the thing. If Mohammed doesn't go to the mountain... We tell the story of what we're trying to achieve, even if I do not stay long enough in office to accomplish it. It doesn't air until we sign off on it, so it's a win-win situation, even if I lose. She called you a cynic. Well, not in so many words. She said, and I quote, I hope Her Excellency's recent troubles are not turning her into a cynic. Maybe, but I provoked her. And she pretends like there's no such thing as a complete lack of bias. <sighs> I suggested that her so-called facts were sometimes influenced by how much advertising revenue they can attract. I challenged her integrity, so she challenged my commitment. I'm telling you, Excellency, if you give the press a yard, they will think a thousand miles, especially this one. I like her hunger. She's bold, and I like that. Sorry to disturb you, ma'am. No worries, Lola. What is it? The deputy governor is here. OK, please send him then. Henry, what have we got to lose? At the very least, we get to tell our side of story for the history books before the victor gets to completely rewrite it. Sorry about what's happening to your mom. It's just so unfair. It'll be all right. We don't know that, Carl. You're right. Hmm? If it's... It's not the end of the world, okay? I suppose so. I kind of feel guilty, though. Why? It, it's like my wishes came true. I, I don't understand. What do you mean? Sometimes I wish my mom wasn't governor. That she was just a regular mom. I understand. It's just that we used to be so close. We used to have time for each other. I mean, we still do, but it's not the same. You know, we used to be so simple. Even when she was deputy governor. And this, the house, the security, the perks. It means nothing if I'm not happy. Trust me, I understand. I know people who do anything to gain power. I mean anything at any cost. So we can't count on your father's support then? No. He's indebted to you, but right now the risks far outweigh the potential gains. Besides, he's highly involved in the Chinese deal. What was our response to the Chinese deal? Workable, but with significant changes to the constitution of the workforce, disclosure of Sony partners and other investors, and much more favorable profit sharing for Savannah. Good. Next stages? We're yet to get a response from the ambassador of the Chinese government. Okay. If we don't sort out this mess, then that will no longer be our problem. Ahmed. I hope it doesn't come to that. Thank you. Ahmed, we have an ESCO meeting in a few minutes. 
I want you to look me in the eye and tell me if you still believe in my leadership of this state. Without reserve, Your Excellency, you have my unequivocal support. You do realize what this support could cost you? Becoming Deputy Governor was your idea, Your Excellency. Thank you, Ahmed. When we found out about the impeachment, of course I was sad. But... There was a part of me that was glad too. It was like... I got my mom back. I get that. I know you do. That's what I love about you, Carl. Others would think that I'm some spoiled, pampered, rich kid who doesn't appreciate how good she's got it. I'm so glad we're back together. Me too. Wondering if it won't be to our advantage not to disclose whose side you're on. What do you mean? Well, you're Dr. Jalo's son, and in their minds, her Excellency's successor. Why give them time to make alternative arrangements? Exactly. So you want me to pretend not to support you? Yes. But I already told my father you have my unwavering support. It doesn't matter. I don't think your father will want to announce to the other two that you are the weak link in their plans. And he's not going to stop trying to bring you over. Okay, okay, so what do I do? Go home, and we'll take care of the rest. If we survive this, I'll be proud and honored to work side by side with such a man of integrity. Thank you, Your Excellency. The uh, sentiment is mutual. Thank you, Your Excellency. The Governor is fortunate to have you on her side. Excellency. Thank you, Ahmed. Even if I don't win, I'll, I'll be very happy to see him as the next governor of this state. Let's just hope it doesn't come to that. <sighs> right. Let's go see who's for me in my cabinet or against me. doing here? Well, the mountain won't go to Mohammed. Thank you for your time. Um, Henry, I thought the deputy governor was supposed to attend this meeting. Yes, he unavoidably had to leave. He just got back from Lagos this morning. He's not feeling too well. Yes, um, the goings-on of certain members of this cabinet is enough to make anyone sick. Yes, Your Excellency. Fine. Let's proceed. 
Right. I'm sure you're all aware of the um, impeachment proceedings that have been initiated against me. Your Excellency, we believe in you and your government. You have my full support. Thank you, Sherry. Um, I may be somewhat preoccupied over the next few weeks, but the work of governance must proceed unhindered. I expect all of you to carry on with your respective schedules and I, of course, will be available for consultations. We still have an enormous amount of work to do, so let's just get on with it. Any questions? Your Excellency. Yes, Commissioner. I just want to say that you have my full support. Thank you. May I also say, Your Excellency, that you have my full support and legal expertise at your disposal. May God guide you through this ordeal. Thank you, Attorney General. Thank you. How did you find me? I searched every lecture room, asked all your friends. No one knew where you were. Well, good for you. You all call me an apology. What for? She was just having your back. Aren't you going to ask who he is? Well, I thought if you wanted me to know, you'd tell me. What are you doing here? I wanted to see you. But I didn't want to see you. I know. That's why I came. I have to go. Please stay. You're a nice guy, told you. <laughs> yeah, that's it right there. The kiss of death. Mr. Nice Guy. You're funny. That's what I've always liked about you. Please, stay. Well, uh, all that in a short space of time is, is commendable. Thank you. And for this and your exemplary leadership, I pledge my full support, Your Excellency. Oh, thank you very much, Commissioner. Thank you. Your Excellency. Yes. I am certain that you have the full support of your cabinet. Have I, Commissioner Bella? It will appear so, Your Excellency. Hmm. However, given the present flux and the uncertainty hanging over this administration, hmm. I would advise that we delay certain executive decisions until, say, for seven days, a seven-day delay? Yes. Um, that's approximately how long the impeachment process will last. Commissioner Bellow, what is the problem? Your Excellency, my point is, any decision you make in the next one week can easily be reversed by the incoming governor in the unlikely event that you are impeached. Um, Your Excellency, I think Commissioner Bellow is merely thinking about the distractions the current impeachment processes can cause. Oh, well, well thank you. Abby? It's just something to think about, Your Excellency. This is unbelievable. you I can't see you anymore that guy is my bread and butter you understand yeah how can you understand you've never known what it's like going hungry or sleeping four to a room with the leaky roof how can you understand I don't understand. Toja, I was just using you. Being with you raised my profile. Got me noticed. Yeah, but we had good times, right? I mean, it wasn't all just... Are you not hearing what I'm saying to yeah, you? Yeah, I hear you. 
Yes, yes, we did. We had great times. I didn't want to hurt you. That's why I stopped seeing you. I still want to see you though, as, as friends. It's not a good idea. Thanks for the clarification, Commissioner Goke, and for the advice, Commissioner Bello. But I think I'll pass. Remember, it's not over until it's over. It is just a suggestion, Your Excellency. And I appreciate the intent, Commissioner Bello. For the record, Your Excellency, I support your endeavors. I, I also still believe in your government, Your Excellency. Hmm. Thank you, Commissioner Goke, for your unrestrained support. I'm glad that you recognize that I'm still governor because your departure from office will be no loss to this cabinet. I've got to go. When you were in the bathroom, I made a phone call. I'm sure I'll see you around, TJ. Ask me the sauce with you. you Honorable, this is a crucial time in the politics of the state. We need your support to continue the work we started. Yes, we will. We will listen. We are listening. Yes, sir. The governor needs your support. Okay, so can we rely on your vote? But Honourable, with all due respect, those aren't proper reasons to want her impeached. Hello? He asks for my number and then he hangs up on me. It is not about partisan politics, ma'am. I am appealing to you as a woman of substance, a woman of integrity, to stand up for a fellow woman of integrity. No, ma'am, no. <laughs> I am not patronizing you. How could I? I'm not saying you should cast your vote solely on the basis of gender. <laughs> Ma'am, if the governor was to be a mayor, we would not be talking about impeachment right now. Give me the phone. Agnes, this is the governor. Yes. So what seems to be the problem, Agnes? Last year, I lobbied to get you put on the House Appropriations Committee, and I understand you're doing very well from it. How many bedrooms does your new Abuja mansion have? I mean, heaven forbid your constituents got wind of the exact specs of that mansion. Oh, oh, I, I can count on your vote. Thank you, Agnes. I always knew I could rely on you. Goodbye. We have our votes. Yes. Well played, man. We still need six more votes to cross the threshold. No, we need 15. I thought you said we only need a third of the 30 members to stay in the game. Yes, 11 votes across the line, but 15 keeps you safe. If we start with 11, one backslider could shoot you down. So 15 guarantees that you're safe. Oh, that's going to be tough. Not if we can deliver multiple blocked votes. Hmm? We better get a move on then, or we better get to work then. Yes. You know I'll help in any way I can. Thank you, Banky. <laughs> did you talk to Ladoke? I did. But he's afraid. If he votes against the powers that be, he may never get the party ticket come next election. That's simple. Tell him I guarantee him the ticket. At least I still have uh, a lot of influence in his constituency. That should persuade him. In fact, I think I might go even better. 
I think he's outgrown the State House of Assembly anyway. So what did you have in mind? I'm thinking of sending him to the National Assembly. In that case, Benga, you have his vote. <laughs> <laughs> Emmanuel. Are you seriously telling me that you're going to vote to impeach me? I have no choice, Your Excellency. But you can vote against your conscience. I can't go against my conscience. Yes, I know how it works, Emmanuel. And I'm asking you to put yourself on the line and stand up to your caucus. They didn't put you in house. My father did. And I supported your candidacy. I'm sorry, ma'am. My hands are tied. I Emmanuel? Honourable. Hello? Yes. This is Angela Ocello. I'm calling from the governor's office. The governor needs you to deliver your house caucus. It is time to pay your debt. I can't help you now, Henry. I'm sorry. Personally, I have nothing against this woman. But she has stepped on too many tools. Powerful tools. She's finished. Matthias. Henry. I need to know I can count on you. If you vote against the impeachment, then the honorable members in your block will follow suit. Thank you, Excellency. Can I count on your vote? No problem, Your Excellency. You have my votes. <laughs> But it will cost you 250 million naira. <laughs> <laughs> I have suitcases in the boot of my car when you're ready. Sorry, Roland. I cannot pay you 250 million in exchange for your votes. <laughs> <laughs> in that case, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> just about her being my daughter. It's a clear-cut case of the wanting to undermine me. And we have to send them a clear message that we cannot be pushed around, that they cannot act with such impunity. So, Honorable Shetima, can the governor count on your votes? No, she can't. But thanks so much for this very delicious meal. I want you to guarantee me that you can deliver your cocos. I love the cocos. Why? Across the carpet to the minority party. You mean you are no longer in my party? I'm in the United Party. But can you deliver the United Party block votes? Absolutely. 
Great! Great! <laughs> but hold on. How many members does your new United Party have in the house? Just me. Well done, everybody. You've done really well today. We are just three votes away from the threshold, but as Henry pointed out, we need 15 to be safe. It's been a long day. Go home and get some rest. Thanks again. Hmm? Do you really think we can pull this off? We will pull it off. Dad? No, we can do it. Okay, that's it. I'm going home. Thanks, Dad. Good night, my dad. You don't think she's going to pull it off, do you? Today, I saw politicians who ordinarily wouldn't have been bold enough to wipe the dirt off my shoes, look me straight in the eye and tell me they are not going to vote for Angela. I mean, politicians who are barely out of political nappies, look me straight in the eye without an iota of respect. It's a new breed out there, Henry. All the goodwill, the honor, the respect, all gone. It is a mere four days away from the impeachment that will take place on the floor of the building behind me. Our embattled governor has a huge task on her hands. The House of Assembly needs two thirds Angie, of the votes to be hmm. able to. You should stop watching this. It's going to help me sleep. From all indications, that number is within reach. How was your day? Honorable Roland Ilana. Can't even remember it. Isn't this impeachment exercise Andy. merely a witch hunt against the governor because of her anti-graft policies? On the contrary. All we are saying is that what is good for It's all a, a game to these that. jokers, David. They want to turn state coffers into their very own personal ATMs. We all should be judged by the same standards. There will be no sacred cows in government. The House of Assembly is full of honorable people with honorable motives over sin. He's so honorable that he asked for 250 million naira for his caucus vote. He even brought suitcases. So what's the current count? Tentatively, it's, it's eight. Well, that's not bad for a first day. We need 15 to be safe, David. We need a block vote, and, and we haven't managed to get one yet. Uh, with the other side offering all kinds of enticements. Mostly money, and I'm not going to do that, David. Hey, hmm. what about land? Well, there's a lot of government land that, that needs developing, but I can't just give it away. No, as long as it's for industrial use, you can give it out to them on transfer, operate, and buy agreement. Mm -hmm. Technically, you're not giving it away. You're just allowing it to generate both employment and income. Yes. It's, it's worth a try. That's if these parasites will respond to a don't give me fish, give me the means to fish type scenario. Well, it is worth the try, right? Most definitely. Thank you, Professor. <laughs> <sighs> so, yes. Where's my bonus? And I hope it's a big one. You know, I only refused her because she didn't pay the price. Your bonus is very generous, my friend. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> but uh, truth be told, yes, I'm not too enthusiastic about Ahmed Jalo becoming governor. That too is a temporary situation. <laughs> <laughs> Who 
will send assassins after us. We are good people. I don't think Angela will agree to that. Angela has no guts. It's all over. Sir, okay. Are you okay, sir? Oh, yes. Uh, what happened? We were robbed, sir. What? Yeah. Five men, motorcycles and guns blazing. I don't even know how they knew we had money on us. So what do you mean? What about the money? I'm sorry, sir. They took it. They, they took it all. I refused to give them the key, but they bust the safe open with their guns. So? So what does that mean? Are you deaf? Your bonus just disappeared into the night. Yes. Sir, we really have to go. time on the governor of course i support the impeachment of governor Chelo. so there's nothing personal no it's nothing personal our votes are they still holding our numbers are holding solid how did this happen word is a lot of money bags were distributed last night so we're back to square one no ma we're done let's let the governor leave us some dignity intact mm. that's out of my hand he was my rock at the time this rock is about to smash any chance of you remaining as governor. He's making serious trouble for the governor. I know guys who can handle him. Permanently, sir. Just nod if you understand me, Mr. Asimoto. <laughs> Due to the gravity of your crime against this state, I have an advice to make you disappear without a trace. <laughs>